I don't know, if I, if I had to build a photographer from scratch and wanted to put in all the good parts, it would come out Dave Tamez. All I'm saying is there are some problems and discrepancies in the system that have to be rectified because they're doing it at the expense of the athlete and his name. So if you don't know Dave Tamez, picture a um, tall guy, quiet, goes about his business. In this trial, the 47-year-old former drifter was his own worst witness. I mean, it, it's like something is flipped. There's a switch that goes off and he goes into, you know, pro mode and it's fun to watch him work. There's a fine photographer here at TV9 named Dave Tamez who just can't resist a good sunset. Anytime he sees one, he pulls his camera out of the trunk and shoots it. Ask anyone who's worked with Dave Tamez and they'll tell you he's the ultimate team player. That's senior Dave Tamez on the tackle for the Hornets. He grew up in tiny Harold, Texas with a graduating class of nine, then got an MFA in commercial arts before beginning his 40-year broadcasting career at KFDX TV3 in Wichita Falls. And now, News Center 3's 6 p.m. report. Dave showed an immediate knack for capturing real human moments. <laughs> and sometimes he even went before the camera. Which, uh, now, it's up to you what goes on the inside, whether you want to draw, paint, right? Another bomb, move back! He also made his name with breaking news stories. I would guarantee that everybody in the room has seen something of Dave's work already. I mean, the shot of Timothy McVeigh walking down the steps out of the Perry courtroom, that's Dave, and that, that's, that's history. In 1987, Dave became chief photographer, then senior photojournalist for KWTV News 9 in Oklahoma City. Then in 2000, he moved to OETA to become program producer and eventually documentary director. Say you come to this old river and maybe if by chance you sit there quiet and you listen, you can almost hear them Kiowas dance. And when we were forming the documentary unit, we needed someone who could uh, do something besides news type documentaries. We needed someone who could creatively uh, approach the arts world and, and that kind of thing. I have gotten that before the Mr. Clean because I've been, I've been uh, bald for quite some time. Bob was a good guy. He looked the part and so the rest as we say is history. He's brought yeah. so much talent to OETA and so much wonderful uh, work. And so I'm so very pleased for him to get this award. Dave's earned over 100 awards in his career, but perhaps it's his role as mentor that's made the biggest impact across the industry. Dave would literally give you anything that he has. He didn't save, you know, special ways of doing anything, he'd give you all the secrets. So it's funny, I lost contact with him for a while when I got out of the business and I came back in 2016. <clears throat> and I kind of struggled a little bit, but there was kind of a Jedi moment where like I could hear Dave speaking to me, you know, and he would talk about, oh, you got fighting angles, you know, you can't do that. He single-handedly has probably influenced me more than anybody in the industry. If Dave Tamez doesn't deserve to be inducted into the Silver Circle, no one does. And it feels like